A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just and one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace. In peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trample, trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he, he who, who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed, Blessed is, is he, he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed, Blessed is, is he, he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. Blessed, Blessed is he, he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed, and it was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. There's one theological lecturer who talked about how fortunate it was for the apostles that he wasn't Jesus in the upper room on Sunday night after the resurrection because he would have had a few words to say to them, okay? Where were you when I needed you? Why did you bail out? And then he would turn on Peter, he says, and then you, we call you the rock? You're a sand pile. Where were you? You lied about knowing me. What's going on? Now he says it's a good thing that Jesus is Jesus and not he, because Jesus' words instead are, it's okay, peace be with you. I understand, I forgive you. Now go and preach forgiveness to others. A nice change, a nice change. But what it tells us is that even a sand pile can be made a rock by the word of God. And so Isaiah's prophecy today tells us about how the Lord is an eternal rock for us. This is where the strong city has to be built. And the church is built on a rock. If it's Peter's sand pile, it's also Peter the rock because of the word of Jesus. And for those of us who want to build our houses on a rock, we're told what we need to do in the gospel today. Hear the words of the Lord and act on them. It's not enough just to say, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. It's not going to cut it. You've got to get down and get to work. And so when we get to work, when we put those words of the Lord into practice in our lives, then in fact our hearts are going to be founded on and our lives are going to be founded on the rock which is Christ. Today we're also going to be celebrating the sacrament of anointing for Susan who is facing surgery coming up in these next, is it tomorrow? I think, yes. And so we're going to call her up and everybody else up to join in praying for her and celebrating this sacrament. 